Hello and welcome to another episode of The Re-Up. My name is Jason Delgado. It has been so long, but so much has been happening with me. But I'm about to go off to Arizona to do the World Series of Comedy. And uh, and so I had a little time in this little blessed spot of a free moment while I'm getting packed and ready to leave. Just to kind of sit down and chit-chat with everybody about what's been going on, you know. So grateful. My name is Jason Delgado. This is the re-up. Usually every week we go over sort of the ebbs and flows of what I go through as a stand-up comic out here in Los Angeles trying to make my way from the day job into the dream job and all the adventures therein. Um, But these last couple weeks have just been so busy just with life and with comedy and with trying to figure myself out and figure things out and you know, just going all through, and I just kind of wanted to share and chit-chat and kind of break it down. Uh, hopefully the sound will be okay. We're doing our best with microphones and such to try and get good sound, and uh, and air conditioning is required, so that's staying on. <laughs> it's getting warm out here in Los Angeles, so it's uh, it's good, but, um, but yeah, I've just been so busy with life and with things in general. You know, I think one of the things I wanted to talk about just kind of breaking it down of, you know, what's been going on with me, but also, you know, just kind of sharing a little bit of introspective stuff, you know, a little bit serious, serious stuff, but <laughs> it's a, uh, it's a good thing, I think, just because I think it's important to kind of be reminded of what's important, you know, so I think a lot of times you're just running and running and running when you're trying to succeed, you know, for me, it's like I'm always striving to be better, always striving to improve, always trying to you know, just be the best I can be with the with the time and the craft I've been given, and uh, and sometimes that gives a little bit of a of a burnout. You know, it just gives you a little bit uh, of introspective. Like, you kind of got to reevaluate what's important because, you know, I think you know I'm going after the money. You know, I'm going after the success. I'm going after the, you know, the big guac, the fame. <laughs> and so, I think that there's a uh, a part of that that sometimes supersedes what's actually important. You know, I, you could always make more money. You could always, uh, you know, make more shows. You could always do more things. But time is one of those things you just can't make up. Time for, you know, introspective, time with family. These are the things that are really, really important. And I think with all the sort of get up, go and get them, I, you know, I sometimes forget that. And so it was important to be sort of reminded of it. You know, recently I've been going through a couple personal things that, you know, have been sort of giving me even more of a drive to just want to focus on my work and focus on my efforts to be better and, and to be funnier and to be, you know, even sharper at what I do. And, uh, and I think in the, in the midst of that, I, I kind of had a little bit of a moment that, that hit me. I, uh, I was, you know, doing tons of comedy as much as I can. Um, and then I had one week coming up, right around the week before July 15th, where uh, there was just a lot of events coming up. I had shows in Hollywood, shows in San Diego. Shows in Upper, uh, like in the Valley and in, and in all these areas in and around the the city and around. And I was just, uh, you know, I was just stacked and I was thrilled. You know, I was like, this is great. You know, I get to do, you know, comedy all week and be part of all these shows and really kind of, you know, hone the new jokes and all this stuff. And I got a call from my mother and she mentioned to me, how it was going to be my father's 70th birthday. And she was like, you know, it's your dad's 70th birthday next week. It'd be nice if you can come down and and we could see you. And that was the week that I just had. I mean, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, San Diego, in the valley, in the city, in Hollywood. Just shows all over. And it was night after night after night. And I was, uh, some of them paid, you know. And I was like, uh, this is a, I was like, this is a tough week, you know. It's a tough week to just stop that and, and go home just because it's a, uh, you know, this is the get up and go time. I'm making it, Mom. I'm making it. <laughs> and, uh, 
And she understood, you know, my dad understood. And it was, you know, it was one of those things where, you know, sometimes you have to sacrifice those things uh, for the goal. Uh, but sometimes you don't. And that night, I had a friend message me. And my friend knows that I do uh, video and photograph editing and stuff. You know, do headshots and do sort of touch-ups with photographs. And he mentioned to me that his father had passed away. And he was wanting me to take a couple of the photos that they had taken and see if I can maybe Photoshop them and clean them up so that he can use them for the wake. And he sent me this at like 11 o'clock at night. And it hit me, man. It hit me. It hits me now, just thinking about it, you know. And I was like, man, you will make up these gigs, dude. There is time. You know, my dad, he's been going through a couple of his own things, you know, with his sort of body and, you know, getting older and stuff like that. And, you know, he's coming up on 70 years old and I hadn't been home in like a year. And I think just seeing that in perspective in something real, to, you know, to be working on a friend's father's pictures who had passed, and, and it just hit me. And I immediately <laughs> dropped everything, bought tickets to go home, and just canceled all the shows. Everybody was extremely understanding. I'm so grateful. Um, and I just said, hey, you know, got to go got to go and just see my parents, see my father especially, get that time. You can make up money, you can make up shows, can't make up time. Can't make up time with loved ones. And so that's when I did. You know, I dropped all the shows and I just flew to New York. And uh, it was an amazing decision. I'm so grateful I did it. It allowed me to get time with my family, time to sort of be introspective on some of the personal things I've been going through and sort of the, the drive of wanting to succeed and what that really means. Because the whole point of the success is to spend more time with the family. So I'm not stuck at this day job. You know, I can, you know, be touring comedy and, and you know, seeing them and, and making enough money where I can, you know, go home for random weeks and spend some time or have them come out to my palatial estate <laughs> or what have you. And, and, and all of these, you know, goals that I have in mind for my future all involve my family, you know, all involve me wanting to spend more time with my family, uh, you know, be freer and not be tied to some nine to five, you know, uh, to just, you know, to have the means to be, you know, more there and, uh, or have them fly out to the movie set, whatever. <laughs> but this is the goal, you know, and I'm here, you know, doing all these things and, and it's kind of an opposite in some ways of what I'm actually going for, you know? And so I went home and I spent time with my dad in an ironic twist, the Thursday that was his birthday, my mother had to work and my brother had to work. So I was the only one that was home. And I took him out to dinner and it was just me and dad on his 70th birthday at a lovely Mexican restaurant in Congress, New York. <laughs> and we sat and we chit chatted and we talked about the future, and we talked about the past, and we laughed, and it was terrific. It was just a terrific, terrific thing. I was so happy I did it. And then uh, we got to go home, you know, and, and then, you know, that Friday night we spent the family together. Saturday night we all went out to dinner together and had a great long conversation with my brother, and, you know, just trying to kind of figure it all out. You know, so much is spending time with your family, I think, is so important because, in a sense, they're just aspects of you. You know, you gathered both good and bad parts of all these people, and, and, and you can kind of examine yourself through that prism, through that lens. And, you know, during the time before I left, I had just finished this uh, guided journal. If you don't know, it's the best you. It's a wonderful guided journal. If you're into journaling or have a plan to want to succeed and set goals and, you know, kind of clock them out and, and improve yourself daily, check it out. It's, it's really good. Ten bucks on Amazon. And, and I use it every day. And, you know, these goals that I set for myself and these action plans that I set for myself, so much of it, 
involves a why. You know, why are you doing this? Why are you going through this process? And I think to spend time with family, you know, my brother, my parents, just getting that, my grandmother, just getting that feeling of, of, of what it is to be part of this bigger unit, this bigger picture, was really, really important to me. It was a super important aspect of, of my life that I was missing, and I was so happy to have gone home, recentered, and refocus on, on kind of what it was I was trying to go for. And, uh, and I was so grateful. I was just so grateful to have that time. Um, and I was able to come back to L.A., you know, still do some shows out here, going to Arizona tomorrow for a big one, the World Series of Comedy. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's something where you get notoriety, you get picked up, you know, people will see you and hopefully book you if you do well, and, uh, and it's good that I got a chance to go home because I think it's really refocused me for this, you know, it's got me to a place where it reminds me of the why, you know, and I think there's only, you know, so much, you know, positive motivation I can do to myself without seeing sort of a physical thing, you know, like hugging my parents, hugging my brother, seeing my home, you know, and feeling that energy. I think you can imagine it, you can sort of presuppose it, you can hope for it, but when you're actually there and you're actually doing it, it's just so emotionally impacting. And it was really, really great for me. And I just wanted to just share this this sort of moment just because I think it's really important if you're out there, you know, and this is a blog or vlog or podcast or whatever, for, you know, people who are trying to do kind of the same thing I think, I hope, you know, the same thing that I'm trying to do, where it's, you know, you have a day job and you have a dream job and you and you want to try to transition to that and and sort of so much of it is, you know, just going through the reps and going through the grind. But if I can give any advice or anything that I've learned is, you know, respect yourself enough to spend time with the people who love you. You know what I mean? The people who really love you and are really down for you no matter what because that's really going to remind you that despite, you know, trying to do all this stuff for other people or, or advance a career or, you know, try to make, you know, money in the industry or whatever that is, you really got to have a why, you know, a reason behind it, a thing that you want to to sort of aspire to. And for me, it was to... to be more with my family, to be more in a loved position and to be able to contribute back to my family. And I always thought of, you know, in these fantasy dreams, it's like, I'll get my mom two Porsches and my dad two Porsches. <laughs> and you have these sort of, you know, aspirational dreams of what you want to give back, you know, to these people who have raised you or have helped you in any capacity, friends, family. You know, I think there's this idea that you're like, when I make it, you know, then I'll be able to to buy you a marble pool or whatever it is that people want. Um, and really, time is the most valuable thing you can give anyone. Giving someone your time, you know, sharing that time with them, allowing you to 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 give to them the same thing that they gave to you, which is a sense of caring, a sense of love, a sense of belonging. And it was great to be there, and it was great to see my family, and it was great to feel that I was in just that time, you know, a, a quesadilla and a couple margaritas. <laughs> I was able to give my dad nine Porsches, you know what I mean? It was the equivalent of that. It really, really felt like that time and that space that we had at that particular moment was worth the world. It was worth every marble pool. <laughs> And so, you know, I encourage people, if you're a creative and you're out there grinding and you're trying to succeed and you want to get to that next level, a pause is sometimes the best thing you can do. Just pause, reevaluate, be reminded of what's important. Remember who you are as a person, like why you're trying to do this in the first place. And for me, I think I, I forgot a little bit of that. I think it was just so much about getting the guac and getting the big check and getting the you know, comedy special and all this stuff that I, I forgot that my time is the most important thing, you know, time with family, just sharing moments, that's invaluable, you know, and I think that if I can give any advice to anyone who might be in a, 
emotional drought or creative drought or anything where you feel like uh, you're kind of in a grind, hitting a wall, getting burnt out. Sometimes a pause and some time with the people who really love you is really the best thing you can do. I know for me it was instrumental. You know, it lifted my spirits and allowed me to see things clearly. It allowed me to be reminded of what was important. And it just gave me a new energy, a new spirit. You know, I've been working on this second book called Level Up, where it's just a series of inspirational poems. And it's stuff that I do just for me. You know, I would just write this stuff down and you know, when I was feeling down or feeling like I needed a charge, I would read one of these poems and it would kind of remind me, you know what I mean? Just to keep your head up, stay in the game, you know, you're destined for greatness. And, uh, and, and to, you know, read that stuff and, you know, putting it together to kind of share it with other people. You know, I just, yeah, well, the fire department's here. They know this podcast is on fire. <laughs> there it is. Thanks. <laughs> He, he loves the podcast. As soon as he stops the fire, he'll listen. <laughs> yeah, it's just so, you know, it's so, um, it's just so important, I think, to be reminded of what it is that you're doing it all for. And, you know, just writing more poems when I got back and just the writing got better. I was coming up with more jokes and more bits and, and, and it just freed me up. It just freed me up to be more creative, to be more uh, loose, to not be, you know, just so angry. And I was just getting angry at the fact that I just was not where I wanted to be, succeeding how I wanted to succeed. And, you know, it was taking a toll on me. It really, really was. And I think it's so important to, to just pause, stop, give yourself a break, and just remember that, you know, you're loved. You're loved by somebody. You're loved by maybe a group of people, a family, friend. You know, you are you are a cherished commodity in someone's life. And I think find that person or find those people and spend time with them. That is the most important thing you can do to clear up any cobwebs or any sense that you're burning out. You know, because it, it reminds you why. Because the why is everything. The training is nothing. The will is everything. As as Batman's trainer said in the movie, <laughs> Batman Begins. <laughs> but it's a good sentiment. Uh, you know, the the day-to-day, I wake up, I train, I write, I work, I go to comedy clubs, I come home, I f- figure out what was working, what was not, go to bed, wake up, do the same thing. You know, if you get into this pattern of that and, and you're just doing it for the sake of doing it, you just forget the reason. The reason! As... <laughs> Earthman and Fire would say, uh, yeah, it's just the reason is the most important thing. The why is the most important thing. And it was good to be reminded why. And I feel like it was a great energy charge to bring me into this, uh, into this next part of, uh, of the summer, this, uh, this hot boy summer. <laughs> but yeah, it was, it's important. I think it was really, really important to, to have that time and to share it with family and friends and and then to come back and be like, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready again. I feel good again. I feel fresh again. I feel like myself again, you know, where, where I'm realizing, yeah, now I remember why I was wanting to do all this stuff. You know what I mean? They should get a marble pool in a Porsche. But, uh, you know, after after you just spend some time with them. Because <laughs> that marble pool in the Porsche might be some time away. Might be sooner than later, we hope. But, you know, that time and that sort of need to compress time and I want, I want to get it now and faster and what can I do to be more efficient you know a lot of that stuff is should just come automatically you know I always say you know success it should be a very very natural thing you know it should just come to you in great abundance and with great ease you know it's it's like your hair growing or like the blood moving through your veins it's just not something you have to think about it. It's just something that you're in the midst of it, vibrating at a certain level, and it's coming to you. And I think it's so important to remember that that's what it's about. You know what I mean? Once you have a good reason, a good why, and you remember what it is you're fighting for, you can vibrate at that level. You know, you could sustain yourself at that level. And it's still hard. I mean, I had a super grindy show on a, on a Sunday. I was there till 12 midnight, and I get up at 6, and... and you know, the crowd didn't care. 
<laughs> but it was just being there, you know, and, and in that moment and, and having all those things that, that normally would kind of humdrum a comedy show and just being like, yeah, I remember why I'm doing it, you know. It's, it's a grind, but it's a great grind because it allows you to go back to your family, to those who love you, and have fun stories about how much it sucks sometimes. <laughs> but if you don't have anybody to share those stories with about how much it sucks sometimes, you know, it's, it doesn't allow you to enjoy it. And enjoying it is so much a part of it, you know. The Bucks won the championship. Uh, Milwaukee Bucks, who knew? But <laughs> yeah, they crushed. I mean, Giannis Atetokounmpo, the 50-point game, hadn't won in 50 years. It was just all so symbiotic and beautiful. They won at home. One of the things he was saying before, you know, that game six that he won, it's like just stay in the moment. Don't get too hyped about the future, too hyped about the past. You know, the past is your ego, you know, and, and the future is uncertain and, and, and you can't presuppose anything because it's all valuable. You got to just stay in the present, stay in the moment. Don't make everything the highest highs or the lowest lows. Stay present. And staying present, you vibrate at a certain level that allows that success to come to you. It just allows that energy to come to you in a different way. It was something that I wasn't experienced. I was squeezing too hard at too many things. And I, uh, and I realized it. I realized it after spending some time. And I realized that, you know, you just got to sometimes clear the hatch of some of these, you know, negative thoughts and some of these, you know, grabby feelings. And you just got to be, you know, really more of a, just loose and more in the moment and more in the present and just vibrate at a level where you have faith, where you know it's going to turn out. You know it's going to turn out because you're feeling good, you, your, your family's feeling good, your loved ones around you, and you just get that vibration, you know what I mean? And then you could take that and move it along and use it to whatever you want. And, and for me, it was getting back on the comedy, you know, getting back in the, in the writing, just finding those things about what it is that I loved, that I loved. And I think it was important to remember that. And it was important to have that time and that pause to, to regain that. And so I, I can't tell you how much it means to me that, uh, that I was able to spend that time with my family. And I know it's been a minute since we had our little chit chats and whatnot, but you know, it was something where I was just getting that burnout. I was getting that, that this, is, this is not fun anymore. And now it uh, it is again, you know, even the bad ones are fun <laughs> because you get to share it with somebody. Right. And I uh, and I learned a lot. I learned a lot in this uh, in these last couple of weeks. And I'm uh, and I'm really grateful for it. And so I'm hoping to take this energy, this good vibration, this good vibe and bring it out to Arizona and win the World Series of Comedy. You're... And who knows? You know what I mean? I'm going to go there, give it my best, feel good about my bits and see where it takes me. But. It's nice to know that it was for, uh, uh, you know, I, I don't think I would have done as well had I not taken that trip home, taken that pause, spend that time. You know, you'd think, you know, do more sets, do more comedy, and then you'll be better by the time you get there. And it's like, not necessarily. Sometimes you just need a, a recharge that only comes from space and, and a pause and a sense of presence. And, uh, and I got that. I got that from my family. I got that from this little break and... I was able to come back, and I'm feeling great, you know what I mean? I'm feeling good, I'm feeling ready, and I'm excited about the future again. And, uh, and I hope that that comes across to everybody here, you know? Everybody's got a dream. What's your dream? <laughs> Excuse me, but follow that, you know? Follow that dream. Pursue it. Pursue it viciously, you know? Go through all those, those sort of times of doubt and dismay and, and, and persevere, but if you're at that point where it's not fun, take that pause. Take that pause. Spend time with loved ones. Go for a walk in the woods. I went around a beautiful lake near my parents' house, and it just, just really gave me, gave me good introspect about what I'm trying to do, and it's, uh, and it's guided me going forward. So... That's pretty much all we're going to talk about this week. It's just been, you know, a little bit. It's not necessarily funny, haha, but it's it's good. It's good feeling, you know. It's it's a good feeling to be uh 
to be feeling good again. And I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to having more fun. I'm looking forward to uh, trying the bits out in Arizona. And hopefully it takes me, you know, to that next level. And so uh, I appreciate you listening. I appreciate you spending the time. I hope this helps those who are creative and trying to do things or just depressed and trying to feel better. It happens to everybody. Even when you feel like you're doing all you can and, and things are kind of working out in many regards, it could still feel like it's it's just not enjoyable, you know? It's, it's, it gets depressing and, and it shouldn't be. It should always be fun. It should always be enjoyable because it allows you to vibrate high, allows you to vibrate without stress, and allows that vibration to attract that vibration and bring that success to you. And that's what I'm hoping for. That's what I believe. I really, really do. So I hope this helps. Thank you so much for being here for this re-up. Uh, if you are in the Arizona area, please check uh, JasonDelgado.com, JasonDelgadoComedy.com and, uh, and see the links for where the show is going to be in Phoenix. It's going to be streaming online. The link will also be at JasonDelgadoComedy.com. And, uh, and yeah, I hope that everybody has a wonderful rest of the week. Uh, wish me luck over there in Arizona. Please watch the stream. Um, if you do want to kind of gain a little bit of better sense of self, uh, you know, be more goal oriented, you got to write that stuff down. You know, the best you journal is a great place to start. Helps me, supports the channel, supports the dream. And, uh, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. My name is Jason Delgado and we'll see you on the next one.